Hi everyone, this is Jaya, a current MIT Master of Business Analytics student. Uh, welcome to my channel. So it's been a little over a month into my capstone project summer full-time experience slash internship and I'm graduating in less than two months. So I thought this would be a good time to share how I feel about the QS Ranking Top 1 Business Analytics Master Program from the perspective of a current student. So I want to start by introducing myself. Um, it's kind of funny that I've done this so many times this year, especially recently doing information interviews and networking with others, but here's a briefer version of it. My name is Jaya. I'm from China. I graduated from UCLA last year with major in applied math and statistics. So that was in 2022. Before coming to MIT Master of Business Analytics, I've done um, a research project with UCLA math department for a year and um, a data analyst internship at Seagate Technology. I wanted to talk a little bit about why I wanted to get a master's degree because I think this really shaped my perspective of my experience. So I came from a pretty quantitative academic background, but I felt I didn't have enough industrial experience. So I really wanted to get more hands-on experience in my master's program and uh, improve my business sense. Second of all, I just wanted to explore different industries to know which industries I'm more interested in. Third of all, um, I always picture myself as a more technical person, so I just wanted to learn more advanced analytical skills. And last but not least, I wanted to land a good job. I think that's the most important thing for many people, including myself. Now coming to my experience at MIT MBAN, I want to share my thoughts from four aspects. Technical skills, soft skills, capstone experience, and uh, career support. First, in terms of technical skills, this program offers a very rigorous curriculum. First semester was um, extremely challenging, mostly because of two courses machine learning and optimization. So I've taken a machine learning course and a intro to optimization course at UCLA, but MIT was just another level. It's so hard that almost everyone went to every single office hour to ask about lectures and homework questions. Um, the professors and teaching assistants were extremely helpful, but most people still spend the majority of our times studying these two courses. What I like the most about these two courses is that there's almost always a business application in every lecture, so you know very well how some concepts are applied in the real world. However, I feel some lectures were very research-oriented because it's basically the cutting-edge research the professor is doing, so it might not be widely used in the industry, and sometimes it gets very, very theoretical. There are three other courses in the first semester, Edge, A-Lab, and uh, From Analytics to Action. Edge is actually very helpful. Its topics range from machine learning to segmentation, NLP, recommender systems, and uh, a little bit deep learning. But because ML and optimization were so hard, I didn't spend as much time studying Edge as I should have. It's not a difficult course, but it comes very handy in preparing for data science interviews. Um, I'm in the process recruiting for full-time data scientist positions right now, and I still use uh, the course slides from time to time to review some concepts. A-Lab is a class where you get to work with a company on a project they proposed. I worked with a marketing company, which I was very excited about. I was actually asked for multiple times about this project in the interviews I've gotten so far. What I wish I could have done better, and my teammates also resonated with me on this, is that we wish we could have taken some relevant courses before doing this project because this class is 
during the first semester so we were heavily relying on our prior experience and uh, knowledge we've used some um, econometrics models in this project that I didn't get to fully understand until the second semester where I took a econometrics class as an elective for the from analytics to action class I thought this class is designed to help us understand the business need and to survive in the corporate as a technical employee however I feel it was very hard for students like me who didn't have work experience to really appreciate this class. So for the first semester, I didn't take any elective, but for the second semester, I took a deep learning, a um, computer vision, and an econometrics class. These were courses I wanted to take in undergrad, but I didn't, so I was very glad that I took them. I think my technical skills have definitely improved. But one year is very short. There are other classes I wanted to take, but I couldn't simply because I didn't have time. Or they just clash with other courses I have to take. Now let's talk about soft skills. I was very nerdy in undergrad and uh, networking was daunting for me because I needed to talk with people with more experiences and uh, knew much better than me. At MIT Analytics, uh, there are a lot of networking events such as career fairs, uh, capsule night, and um, speaker series, etc. You will have a lot of opportunities to network and you will also be forced to do so. It turns out that practice does make perfect. My networking skills have gotten a lot better with practices along with some very useful tips our career advisor have given and um, some peer experts who are just extremely good at networking that you get to observe. My presentation skills have also gotten better. Some of my classmates are very good at presentations and uh, some classmates are extremely good at making fancy slides. So I think um, on the one hand, you get to learn a lot of things from professor, lecturers, and career advisors. But on the other hand, you just get to learn so much more from your peers. I've also gotten much comfortable at connecting people on LinkedIn. Um, so I'm very happy with my progress. Many incoming students and uh, people interested in our program have asked me questions about our famous capstone experience. To provide a quick overview, students form a team of two and uh, work with um, capstone company on a project proposed by the company for a duration of six months. For the spring semester from February to May, students contribute about 10 hours every week um, on the project while in the summer it transitions into a full-time summer uh, internship spending 40 hours per week for my case i'm working with cvs health which essentially entails a nine to five regular work schedule Harley wants to say hi right Harley. <laughs> i'm very happy with my capsule company but not everyone is in fact, many people are not. I think the issue this year is many companies from previous year didn't come due to market conditions and um, a handful of high sought after companies like McKinsey, JP Morgan, BMW received significant student interest whereas some companies are much less popular consecutively um, some students ended up with projects that didn't align with their preferences undoubtedly the capstone project provides invaluable industry experience for students especially like me uh, who lack work experience but for those who find themselves in projects they're not very enthusiastic about it raises questions like could they have potentially secured internship offers that are better elsewhere. Lastly, let's discuss career support. 
The program offers great assistance to students in their job search. However, there are limitations, especially during challenging market conditions. Ultimately, you have to rely on your own efforts. Um, as I mentioned earlier, there are a lot of networking opportunities available. While there is a possibility of getting return offer from your capstone company, this year most capstone companies are under hiring freeze, making such offers less common. Additionally, our career advisors share our resume book with some companies, which may result in a few companies reaching out to you. However, considering there might be two or three companies for over 70 of us, the odds can be discouraging. A significant realization I've had this year is that the reputation of your school, no matter how prestigious, can only take you so far. Work experience carries more weight, especially during challenging market conditions um, like the current one. In my upcoming video, I will discuss things I wish I knew before joining the master's program, so make sure to subscribe. Since April, I've been applying for full-time positions and it's been three months. I've applied for over 100 positions, but it's been very challenging to get responses from recruiters. Um, fortunately, I have a support group of my close friends from uh, my program who have always been there for me. Initially, I had thought the job hunting process would be easier uh, based on the program's reported 100% employment rate, but it's been proven that it's actually quite challenging. While the curriculum prepared myself well for the interviews, the actual challenge is actually getting the interviews. To those facing similar struggles, I want to say that I truly believe that we will eventually secure jobs, although it might take longer than expected. But don't be discouraged, just keep applying, keep networking, and uh, it'll all work out before you know it. So in conclusion, my time at MIT Anban has been an incredible ride. It's been extremely rewarding, but it hasn't been all smooth sailing. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please feel free to comment below if you have any questions and I look forward to sharing more of my experiences and uh, adventures with you in the future. Bye! You wanna say bye? You can say bye. Uh -uh. Okay, I guess you don't wanna say bye. So just be me. <laughs> bye!